FORGE stands for the Frontier Observatory for Research in Geothermal Energy. And what it's designed to do is to learn from past projects, past experiences, and bring the, the prospect or the promise of enhanced geothermal systems to commercial viability. So there's lots of technologies that need to be tested, techniques that need to be proven, and FORGE is gonna be the test bed where we could do that. The goal of the project is different than other enhanced geothermal projects around the world. The FORGE project is designed to develop and test research new tools and technologies that can be used for developing EGS. We use LeapFrog Geothermal primarily for our earth modeling tools and Sequent Central and Sequent Viewer to communicate those results and work among the team to make sure we're all fully coordinated. As with any subsurface exploration or subsurface project, it's a continuing workflow where you interact with the explorationists, the geologists, the geochemists. So the workflow, I think, is the important part. Then the secret products, LeapFrog Geothermal in particular, is a good way to actually bring all those voices together where everyone can be looking at the same Earth model and have different interpretations that we could test simultaneously using Sequent Central, and we could track these things on different branches of our Earth model. So we can test different geologic scenarios and come together with the best possible answer that honors all the data that we have. The entire team can check into it and look at the data sets. They can annotate, they can add comments. Every voice is heard in the decision-making process. Communication is absolutely critical in what we're doing. We need to communicate with the public, with the scientific community, with regulatory agencies, with our own team. Sequent technologies have been extremely useful in, in our ability to effectively communicate. Over the past few years, LeapFrog Geothermal has become our go-to tool for communication. So this has become an absolutely critical part of our game plan to help our stakeholders understand what we're doing. Particularly right now, one of our questions is where is the optimum trajectory for the wells? And these three-dimensional models allow us to very, very easily show the trajectory with respect to rock type, with respect to temperature, stress environments, and the like. At specific points along the program, we set what we call a reference data set. So we have a reference earth model, a reference numerical model, a reference stimulation model, and that's where essentially the starting point for the next piece of analysis. And be able to set those base points and lock them down in, in sequence central, then it was set in time, we annotate everything that got us to that point, and then we can move on from there. So the learning and things continue. We have a, a number of stakeholders. We have a, a relatively large team. Uh, it includes national labs. If we could prove enhanced geothermal systems, the potential there for clean base load renewable energy could be, you know, at least for the United States, up to maybe as much as a quarter or more of the U.S.'s total energy consumption.